Good morning, guys. Um, welcome to a quiet video. Uh, it is 5.30 in the morning. Got to be in Chicago today, so I figured I'd shoot the video uh, so you guys have it up today um, before you guys all go to work. So, um, real quick, it's going to be a quicker video. Um, I'm going to try and get done real quick because I actually have got to get going here soon. Uh, got to catch the train. So, uh, real quick, guys, week one, very exciting week. Uh, everyone played really well. You know, there's a couple teams you can kind of see didn't score very well. Um, but I'll get into that right now with the week one scoreboard. Uh, week one, Polish Pounder defeated Kiss My Ash 117 to 100. Uh, it was a, actually a very close game, um, you know, until late late Sunday night. Um, you know, Adrian Peterson led my team with 20 points. Um, fuck you, Matt Berry. You said he was going to sit, pretty much. You told me to stay away from him. I said otherwise, and I started him. Good payoff for me. Uh, Tom Brady led Ashley's team with 17. Um, and a quick note, none of my players scored in the single digits. All my players, defense, kicker, everything scored double digits. So that will help you win almost every week. Um, next one, uh, Windy City 11 defeated Taste the Rainbow 94-90. to Very close game. Came down to Monday night with Phil Rivers. He underperformed, um, you know, in terms of a fantasy quarterback standard um, and pretty much cost Jared the game by about four points. So, you know, that was just another 40-yard pass, even a touchdown. I would have done it for, for Jared. So uh, Brock pulled out the win there. Brock's leading score was Tony Romo with 23. Uh, Stephen Ridley led Jared's team with 20. Um, Brown Fried Rice pulled out an exciting victory over Balls Deep. Um, Joe came down on Monday night with Ray Rice and A.J. Green going and um, just got enough. That last last touchdown by Ray Rice sealed the fate for Javi. So a uh, good win for Jared. He was led, or a good win for Joe, sorry. He was led by Matt Ryan with 31. Jeff was led by Andre Johnson with 17. Um, I know the lower scoring matchup of the week. Um, ABC Easy as RG3. Nico defeated uh, Murray Express. Mike, uh, 73 69. Uh, Mike was led by Drew Brees with 21. Julio Jones led Nico with 22, and that was about it for these teams. Um, you know, DeMarco Murray had a pretty good week, um, and then for Nico, um, Cam Newton really disappointed. I thought he was going to light up that defense of the Bucks and uh, only scored 12. But yeah, other than that, guys, I mean, there really wasn't much home, much to write home about. Uh, Nico had Matt Forte get him a, a big, a big 18. But yeah, Mike's Mike's team really underperformed, um, and then Boston Tea Party defeated. Uh, Lance Berkman, which is Eric, 186. Um, you know, one of the the less exciting matchups of the week. Uh, still got some good point totals out of out of Jeff with 100. Um, was he second, third highest scoring team in the league? Um, so it's, you know, like I said, less exciting matchup. But uh, he had Kevin Smith get him 20 in a recent trade. Um, apparently paid off, got him a week one victory. And Eric was led by uh, Aaron Rodgers with 22. So that was pretty much the week one recap, guys. See where we kind of going with that. Um, and, you know, as you can see, guys, there are some weaker teams. You know, it's it's week one. You know, don't shit your pants how good you are. Don't shit your pants how bad you are. Uh, you know, time will tell. If it's week five and you don't have a win yet, then you start to worry a little bit. But as of right now, um, you know, it's, it's up in the air. Week one, congrats if you won. Sucks if you lost. Don't get your heads down. Uh, you know, long season ahead. You know, we have, what, 13 regular season weeks and then 14 and 15 for playoffs. So it's long season, guys. Week two, uh, we got some matchups going here. We got Polish Pounder facing Murray Express. Um, Brown Fried Rice facing Taste the Rainbow. So that's a little friend matchup there with Jared and Joe. Um, Kiss My Ash at the Boston Tea Party. So we have the brother-sister rivalry going on there. Uh, we got Windy City Loving at uh, ABC, Easy as RG3. With like that, the uh, the trade talks getting a little heated with Nico and Brock, so that should be a little fun matchup to watch. And then balls deep against uh, Lance Berkman, Eric. So, um, guys, matchups are pretty good this week. You know, it's hard to tell. Make sure you check your lineups, check your rosters, um, setting them all. Uh, I know there were some injuries going on, um, you know, throughout the week. So uh, make sure you're on those. You know, get on your lineups, check them. Um, make sure you're throwing around trade talks, guys. I know I'm actually dead serious about Aaron Foster. So um, go ahead, get your lineup set if you have any questions. Like I said, it's going to be a quick video today. I don't really get to get in-depth with the matchups of next week. 
Um, so, oh, bam, there we go. Um, if you guys have any questions, give me a holler. But I mean, it's you know, it's, it'll be fun. Week one, I know, is definitely exciting. Um, I had a really good time watching all the matchups. It makes it a lot more in intense for me. So, um, enjoy your week, guys. Good luck this week. Stay active on the polls. Stay active on the posts. Um, make a post if you're looking for a trade. Throw some text around. See if anybody wants to buy down a trade. So, all right, you guys have a good week. Um, like I said, any questions. But I will see you guys next week.